And good morning all, my name is Don Zavis. I'm a national sales trainer and sales coach. I do keynote speaking throughout the country on revenue development topics, and I wanted to welcome you to today's uh, session of Sales Triage. Uh, today I wanted to focus on something that was very near and dear to my heart, and, and the, uh, the, the topic or the, the name for today's session is never miss a good opportunity to shut up. And essentially what that says is when I work with salespeople, that one of the most common thing that I find in a lot of cases is they just talk too much. There's a concept that says if I, if I talk a lot and I tell you a lot of things and I do this giant information dump, you're going to think that I'm very smart, very knowledgeable, and ultimately you'll want to do business with me. And, and although on the surface that seems like it would make sense, there's an adage that we talk about in professional sales training and coaching, which is show up and throw up. So I know that sounds vulgar, I, I apologize if I've offended anyone's uh, polite disposition, but essentially what happens is you come there and just you puke all over them, right? You tell them everything under the sun. The vast majority of the things you're going to say, however, are unlikely going to be things they necessarily want to hear. So when I use the adage, never miss a good opportunity to show up, I like to use, or never miss a good opportunity to shut up, I like to use the word silence is golden. Now that wasn't just an adage that came through the course of history or your, your mom said it's better to be seen and not heard. It's also in sales as well. Many of the salespeople I work with are absolutely brilliant. I imagine many of the people that are, that are listening and watching today would fall into that. And they got their needs met through the course of their life by responding to questions. So for example, you're in third grade and Mrs. Anderson, your third grade teacher, says to the class, what is the capital of, of Florida? And there you are, and you thrust your hand in the air, and you're all very excited. When you, and I don't even know the I don't even know the capital. So whoever out there knows the capital, just answer yourself. But you happily thrust your hand in the air, and you say, "The capital of Florida is this." And Mrs. Anderson, your th third grade teacher, gives you your strokes and says, "Boy, Johnny, you're very smart. You're very good with your capitals." And now that's a way that you got your needs met. We call them strokes in a professional environment. And that's carried on through most of your academics. So many of the people that are, that are involved with extended degrees in, in math and science or master's degree, PhDs, got a lot of their needs met by positive affirmations that came on the other side of responding positively to questions. Now I'm going to tell you not to respond to questions, or at least as questions that, they, that could potentially hurt you. So never miss a good opportunity to shut up. We never answer a question until we know exactly the reason that they're going to be asking it. So thank you for, for joining us for today's session of Sales Triage. My name is Don Zavis, Don Zavis Sales Training. You can see our high-quality graphics here. Telephone number 248-497-5869. And I can be reached at donzavis at comcast.net. Thank you so much for your time. Have a pleasant morning.